Hello, Apparition, Kamida, Matt Owe, Guppy Force, and Siwat. Hello, oh my god, it's so great to be back, you guys. I've been looking forward to this all day. Oh my god, jeez, jeez, jeez. Last time. Oh my god, I'm doing great, Owe. I had a headache earlier today. But I took some Advil, and I'm feeling fine now. Higue. <laughs> Damn, Trad. Welcome to the stream. Hello, and also Nagels. Oh, you guys are so sweet, seriously. Oh, my God. Anyway, last time, either... Like, you're, I don't know how, I can't believe it's not magic. Seriously. How? Hello, Byakudan. Lovely to see you. Oh my god, like, how is this not magic? We had a, another bloody zombie, if any of you have ever played Higurashi. But, oh, oh god, oh wait, I'm so sorry. Hello, Pika Blue. Ah, jeez. Oh my god. Like, how? Just how? There is no way this is not magic. We have a fake cannon that is seen by multiple people that straight up kills people and that, like, and that turns into butterflies. I honestly thought it was one of the seven deadly sins. Uh, disguise as canon, but it was like some kind of construct of him. <laughs> Interesting, Pika Blue. I don't know if Fatler will ever will ever die in um, within the chapters, but you know Keiji did in uh, Higurashi many times. So you know we'll see. He just he very well might. Oh, they just get, they just gotta bind it down away. <laughs> Jeez. I gotta like it's so weird. We saw two of them. Like the seven deadly sins are the biggest mystery I I have here. Like we saw two of them. Like they have their own personalities and everything, and then they vanished. Like and they're supposedly high level quote unquote furniture of uh, Beatrice that right now in the story at least they all they all have reading steiner uh and um right now at least they're like ridiculously strong much stronger than canon is so canon is definitely way stronger than uh her low-level foot soldiers with the, the goat man Interesting, Matt. I'm glad that's almost everyone's reaction. Because uh, there's not... Like, what on earth? Either there's... Okay, if it's not magic, it's a fucking mass hallucination. S seriously. Thank you, Matt. Because I can't understand explaining this. It is either magic... Or a mass hallucination. Ah, oh, jeez. Like, cause, like, you have like the fucking zombies and everything, and, and like, oh god. It's different from the zombie in Higurashi, which was only seen by Keiichi. Like, I just. <coughs> yeah, the nano machines. Yeah, a mass hallucination or nano machines. The hallucination might be caused by the butterflies, which might be hallucinogenic gas. Like, like seriously, it's either that or nano machines, which is nano machines is just the sci-fi version of magic, basically. So it's almost the same thing. 
you're really splitting hairs at that point when you're saying, oh no, it's not magic, it's nanomachines. Like, it's the same fucking thing in every story. Nanomachines are basically magic that you explain with science. Like, in episode one, like, you had all these random things happening, and, like, yeah, you could totally explain that with people. Like, we still had the possibility of secret passages, or someone, you know, being really quick, or a whole team of people working together. But now we have all this crazy shit. Oh my god, it's just like... I just can't, like, it's gotta be... Hello, Armora. I'll only accept there's no secret passages in, um, in the rooms where Beatrice said there's no secret passages. Which means there's no secret passages in the chapel. And in, in uh, the room where Jessica died. Those are the only rooms that I will accept there being no secret passages in. Because she said that in red. Everywhere else is fair game. It's like, I just... <laughs> oh, thanks, Armora. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, if I'm pronouncing anybody's name cor incorrectly, please tell me. So you know what? With that, as we just freaking um, Shannon and Genji freaking took out the zombie doppelganger cannon, whatever. And uh, not before he killed Nanjo and Kumasawa. And Goda is still alive. He's the only normal human of the servants left. Interesting. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, Matt. That, yeah, she didn't actually say there was no secret passages in the chapel. Okay. Jeez. And, um, so now Goda is with the other, with, uh, Shannon and Genji, and he's like, what, what is going on? This is insanity! And, uh, like, they're like, calm down, sir. We have to do it. Um, yeah, sure. Um, there's all this crazy magic shit going on, and... So, uh, we're probably all gonna die, but we gotta protect you. Are you kidding me? Yes, don't worry. We will protect you. Oh my god! Oh, it's okay, sure. We'll protect you. And, like, I just can't even just imagine what's going through Goda's mind as they're explaining all this shit to him. Oh my god, jeez. Anyway... We should have me a battle! Jeez. <laughs> Is what um, Beatrice loves to say. She's enjoying this. You know she's enjoying this. Uh, Beatrice, like, she's having fun playing this game with Battler. I mean, she's supposedly immortal, right? And uh, she's... You know, her big thing is finding entertaining things to do, and this is probably entertaining her a lot. Oh my god. Hilarious jam, Chad. Right now I'm thinking about his Fire Emblem Three Houses. I might write a tiny little fanfic about that, because I am currently obsessed with Edelgard. Oh god, she's amazing. But, um... <laughs> I, 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 I would have to see the, um... Full story of Umineko before I would even think of writing any tiny thing about that. Oh my god. Alright, so... Yeah, absolutely, Beatrice's voice actor is definitely enjoying this. Uh, right after uh, the big uh, clone massacre. Oh, you're way too nice, Oa. You are way too nice. Jeez. I don't think I'm that good of a writer to deserve that, seriously. 
I honestly don't think so. I'm that good of a writer. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, let's get back into the story. We've just changed the scene. Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa-san were... What on earth are you talking about? Oh, Shannon! Oh, Shannon! Thank goodness you're safe! If something had happened to you, I... I... Shouji-sama! Shouji-sama! Oh, God. I'm just so glad those two are safe. Georgie-kun,少し静かにして! Georgie Kuhn, be quiet for a second! A murder occurred before your very eyes, right? Did you see the culprit? Or not? That is, um, uh, how should I explain? Genji san, you do it! Even we could not adequately explain what happened in front of us. That was some crazy ass bullshit, as Battler would probably say. It uh, certainly was a thing that happened right before our eyes. It was right in front of my eyes! Hello, Artie. Welcome to the stream. However, uh, it was... Uh, what was it? Even I don't understand! What are you saying? You couldn't have met anyone except the witch, Beatrice, whose location had been unknown since yesterday. Or Kanon-kun, who's gone missing. Is it a man or a woman? You should be able to tell me at least that much, right? Well, with Kanon... <laughs> I mean... If they're disguised as canon, like, a, a girl could disguise themselves as canon easily. I mean, serious. So, <laughs> that, I don't think you could even say that. Jeez. Aunt Rosa, calm down a bit! Anyone would be confused if two people were taken out right in front of them. Goda-san, Genji-san. There is no need to rush. Tell us what happened, one thing at a time. As to that, uh, how should I say it? Oh. Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa-san had been killed. We understood that much. And it seemed that it occur occurred right in front of those people's eyes. And there's the train come to, to interrupt us. Take a sip of soda. Jeez. But even so, they spoke awkwardly. They admitted that they had definitely seen the crime with their own eyes. But when asked to explain what they had seen, their mouths went suddenly shut. I could understand why Aunt Rosa was irritated and flaring up. Shut up. Shannon. Shannon. Did you see it? When Dr. Nanjo was attacked. Uh, hi. Yes, yes. 
に教えて。Tell me。わかることだけでもいい。Just what it is exactly you understand。一体何があったの。What in the world happened。勝手口に。Someone came。来たんです。To the back door。そ、そうです。That's right. カテグチニダレカガヤテキタンデス。Someone came up to the back door. そしてダレダロトバタシワトビダオハケマシタ。Then, wondering who it was, I opened the door. カテグチニダレカ。Someone at the back door? それは誰 Who was it? サイゴマデイワスティアレ。Let them finish. それから And after that, so it's a chimamide, okay, go to the master. That person was stained with blood and、uh, had a large wound. But I said, you are she only is in the Hakobi, so good in Anjo Sensei got here to she must. We carried that person to the servant room and.、Uh, Dr. Na- Dr. Najo immediately began first aid. It was a very deep wound. Yes, James! That's hilarious. If you lock up George and Shannon in the same room, there's a very high chance that we're gonna have an extra person on the island. You're gonna have to wait a while, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is absolutely true. Jeez. Oh my god. Like I said, who are you talking about? I don't know. Certainly in the beginning, I thought that was the case. No, I still think that. But what in the world was that? I don't know. I don't know! In a manner that didn't match his large body, Goda held his head and scratched at it. I didn't have a clue if he was confused but he couldn't, because he couldn't remember. Or because he'd seen something terrifying and couldn't accept it. And Shannon looked the same way. If she let her guard down, what she'd seen just a short while ago just, what she'd seen just a short while ago would quickly melt away like a daydream. And she wouldn't be able to remember anything. That's what she looked like. Only Genji looked composed as usual. So the questions were naturally directed at him. By the way, if you guys can't hear me that well, please tell me, okay? So I can readjust everything. However, even Genji took quite some time before he spoke, and he could gather, had to gather his thoughts. Genji san. Genji san? You saw it, right? Who came in through the back door? At first, we believed that person was Canon. You see? He was alive after all! My theory was correct! Oh god, I don't like relating to Rosa. Ah, jeez. By at first, you mean your impression changed later, right? Yes. I cannot explain with words what happened after that. It was some really, really messed up shit. He killed Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa, 
then disappeared. At that time, he was definitely not canon. So. Oh my god, jeez. Absolutely, Pika Blue. Absolutely. Exactly, that's true. Genji and um, Shannon should be able to show their magic weapons, but maybe they're like under oath to never um, to never do it unless in it's an emergency or something. Like maybe Cannon even did it, even though he wasn't supposed to, just because he loved Jessica and wanted to protect her. Yes. So this. That's right. It's just as Genji-san says. You really couldn't explain it with words. Do you have the same opinion? Yes. If we give their claims the benefit of the doubt, it means that Aunt Rosa's first conclusion was correct. Cannon had appeared next to the near the back door to the kitchen with a serious injury. Then, he had been taken to the servant room and cared for. And after that, something terrifying had happened. So, were these people so convinced that Cannon Kun couldn't possibly have done such a thing? Peekaboo, that's probably because Goda was still there alive. They didn't want Goda to see. While uh, Cannon didn't care if um, Jessica saw because her life was in danger. So were these people so convinced that Cannon Kun couldn't possibly have done such a thing that they'd start to suspect whether it had even been Cannon Kun at all? In other words, that means Kanan Kun did appear. No matter how confused they are, no matter how they muddle their words, that's what it means in the end. So does that mean that after all, Kanan Kun used some trick to escape that room, even though it was locked? No, that doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, just... The fact that Battler is thinking that means I think that's absolute proof that he did not see the big epic battle. Either of them. Because why would he even say that line? The real problem is that Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa-san were killed. Aunt Rosa has claimed that Kanan Kun was behind this from the very beginning. No matter how confused these people are, no matter how much they try to deny it, they're halfway confirming that she was right. But even so, for some reason, I feel like their awkwardness couldn't be explained by confusion alone. What did they see? Like they said, 
Did they really see something that couldn't be explained with words? Aunt Rosa, who decided that further talk wouldn't get us anywhere, concluded her questioning and said she wanted to check the two bodies. That was something I'd been wanting to do, too. Yep, I bet they're going to come back to it and they're going to have the specific injuries that they need for the ritual or whatever. The witnesses had been unable to figure anything out, but they had been shaken. Okay, yeah, that was Battler. He, that was episode two Battler, not 5D Battler. Okay, thanks, Matt. Yeah, that was thinking that. If those of us who hadn't been at the scene calmly looked at the corpses, we might find something. But it was a little surprising to learn that Aunt Rosa was also concerned about the bodies. Even at this point, I still wanted to use any clues I could find to expose the culprit and the truth myself. But it should have been different in Aunt Rosa's case. Hasn't Aunt Rosa prioritized staying safe over finding the culprit? I couldn't really see why she would go to all the trouble of leaving our barricade in the parlor just because she wanted to check the bodies. We'll all go to the servant room together. If we all move together, it should be safe. Maria, stop playing with scribbles. Not scribbles! I'm solving Beatrice's puzzle! Beatrice's puzzle? What's that? Show me too. Aunt Rosa, are you, um, bringing Maria chan too? It seemed that George Anaki was against the idea of bringing Maria to the bloody crime scene. But considering that Maria would be all alone if left here, it would surely be much safer to take Maria with us. In the end, it was just Anaki's irresponsible humanism. We decided that all of us, including Maria, would go to the servant room. The bed in the servant room was stained with red, r bright red blood. No, nope, not just the bed. The whole room was covered with a gruesome paint from countless bloodstains. That dreadful scene alone was enough to give us idea of the repulsive sight they had been trying to describe. Ooh. Ooh. Maria, I want to look too! Maria chan wa to isho ni. Mario chan, you wait here with me. Exactly, Artie. Mario is really chill about all the gore. Even in real life, like, as a little kid, I love to watch, um, I often watched, uh, R-rated movies. Um, like, uh, I watched Alien and Predator. Like, me and my sister watched all the Alien and Predator movies all the time as little kids. But anything with dinosaurs in it, as well as, you know, like, you know, the standard Disney stuff and um, lots of cute love stories and things like that. But it's kind of the duality of our being. So we, uh, <laughs> so we really are, we're ch totally chill about gore. Like, we love to see monsters and stuff like that. And uh, my sister actually is uh, now very good at drawing monsters and things like that, too. So that's something really cool. <laughs> but I don't know how we, we would fare about it in real life. 
George Anaki was standing by the entrance, covering Maria's eyes with his back to the room. He probably didn't want a dirty and innocent girl's retinas with the repulsive blood in this room. That was surely the correct decision. I was acting tough right now, so I didn't mind. But the rest of my life, whenever I see red paint scattered around, I'll probably remember this room and start to vomit. My retinas had already had this room burned into them. In other words, it's already too late for me. Huh? Where, where did they? Right after they entered the servant room, Godasan and Shannon Chan trembled. We shook, wondering what horrible new situation had arisen to make them tremble again. What happened? What is it? Aunt Rosa also shuddered, raised her gun high, and searched for whatever it was that had made them shudder. But she couldn't find it. It was only natural. They were trembling because they couldn't find it. Hey, what in the world's going on? The two bodies aren't here. What does this mean? Those two were definitely here. Oi, oi, oi. Wait, 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 wait. Nantayo. Staiga dogoka are it at Teroga. What the hell? Are you saying the corpses just walked off somewhere? That couldn't happen, right? I mean, wasn't the servant room locked? Didn't you unlock the door when you came in just now, Godasan? Yeah, what a surprise. The corpses are gone. Somebody has another master key from the locked door. They moved him in the blink of an eye somehow. Uh, so what does that mean? Isn't this the same as Jessica's room? Someone's disappeared from inside a closed room again? That's ridiculous! I don't have a clue what happened either. But I said, you're When we left this room, we definitely locked it. But I said, you're I don't have a clue what's going on anymore. There was a timid, pitiful smile on Godasan's face that he definitely wouldn't have let show normally. Shannon was the same. Two corpses disappeared! And furthermore, they disappeared while the door was locked! Even if Kanon-kun was the culprit, he shouldn't have a master key anymore! That's wrong! Kanon kun isn't the culprit! Shannon. Shannon. I believe Shannon. Oh god, Georgie. Oh, Georgie is such a peach. Seriously, he is such a peach. Oh my god.
Like, oh my god. <sighs> Georgie. I love how he treats Shannon. He is so... Oh my god, Georgie. Oh god, Shannon. You were so lucky, you know that? Oh, wow. Kanon-kun is not the culprit. This must be the doing of someone who looks a lot like him. No. Kanon-kun could have gotten a master key. After all, his master key was found in the pocket of Jessica Chan's corpse. And who took that key? <gasps> uh, that's right. It was Dr. Nanjo. That's right. Back then, it definitely was Dr. Nanjo who searched through Jessica's clothes and found the master key. So if someone had the opportunity to search Dr. Nanjo's corpse, it would have been easy for them to take the master key back. Yeah, but how did they get into the room in the first place? Oh god, James! <laughs> Aunt Rosa searched under the bed and in the locker. By now, I also understood what that meant. If you assume there are two culprits, this can be easily explained. The first person was Kanon Kun, or maybe an imposter who looked like him. He finished off Dr. Nanjo and ran off somewhere. The second person was probably the 19th person, Beatrice, whose location was unknown. That person hid under the bed in the servant room beforehand, and while Dr. Nanjo's body was enshrined here, they waited for Genji-san and the rest to leave. Then later they crawled out, took the master key from behind, back from Dr. Nanjo's pocket, and carried the two corpses away for some reason. If they then locked the door with the master key, you'd end up with this closed room. <laughs> you constructed that one pretty fast, basing it up off your reasoning from Jessica's room. With that method, you could create a closed room, even without magic. Should I give you passing marks? However, However interestingly enough, there's one thing you mustn't forget. If the culprit took back the master key as you suggest, they must have known that Nanjo took the master key from Jessica's body. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. You're probably trying to say that it's information only the people in that place at that time could know. <laughs> this third closed room was crushed so fast you just <laughs> that you're stuck trying to make hurtful remarks like that. 
There's no heart in repeating the same content over and over. I may have managed to bluff, but that move of the witches hurts bad. I can tell that I'm cracking under the thing I want to nine the most. This person's trying to close in on me from two directions. On the one hand, there's the frontal attack, when she tries to force me to believe there's a witch using closed room tricks that only a witch could do. And on the other hand, there's the rear attack, when she tries to lure me into wanting a witch to exist by strengthening my suspicions of those close to me. In the first closed room, the chapel, she used a frontal attack, but it didn't work on me. So by the second closed room, and now in the third closed room, she's definitely changing the direction of her attack. However, the fact that she is changing the direction of her attack proves that my resistance is having some effect. And she must have given up on the frontal attack because she clearly can't win with it. I tried to settle my unease by thinking these things. But apparently the witch had seen through me long ago. <laughs> I will not abandon my frontal attack. Oh my god, she can read his thoughts. Cheers. A rear attack only has meaning, because it advances at the same time as the front. If I were to degenerate into only using the rear attack, it would merely result in a foolish plan, where my means have become my goal. So <laughs> this <laughs> Really? Well then, won't you repeat someone was hiding in the servant room using that red you're so proud of? There is no need. The premise of your theory is about to be destroyed. Oh, really? You refuse? So someone really is hiding. Rosa will destroy your premise right now. <laughs> Come, let's listen in. Please believe us, Rosa-sama. The two corpses were definitely lying here. The bright red blood on the floor is theirs. Aunt Rosa began to search through various objects around the room, her back to Godison as he cried out in suspense. Supplication. Eventually, she found something and for a while stopped moving. Rosa-sama, Rosa we definitely aren't lying. The two corpses were definitely here. Be quiet. The person who hid these corpses has confessed that they took them to another place. With this. Rosa showed them a single sheet of paper over her shoulder. What on earth is that? Could it be a letter in a sealed envelope? Just like the one in the chapel? Yes, that's right. 
Oh, wait, sorry. I read that in Beatrice's voice. But I don't know why. Yes, that's right. It was set here out in the open. I'll read it. Members of the Uchiromiya family and its household. Have you now reached the climax of the riddle of the gold's epitaph? There is only one way you all can stop me, by solving the epitaph's riddle. There are no other options left to you. That will result in the suspension of my ceremony. I humbly ask that you not take that you take care not to misunderstand your current situation. Searching for me will prove useless. Attempting to escape will prove useless. Trying to deny me will prove useless. Beatrice the Golden. P.S. I borrowed those two corpses for my ceremony. They will be returned to you in due time, so I crave your indulgence. Also, these keys belong to you, so I return them to you now. As Rosa read that aloud, the contents of the envelope lay exposed on the palm of her hand. There were two master keys, the master key that Nanjo had found in Jessica's pocket, which had originally been Cannon's, and Kumasawa's master key. What the hell? So what does that mean? Damn you again! You're saying I can only really suspect the servants with keys again? I won't say it in red, okay? I won't deny the possibility after they locked the door and left. Someone was hiding in this room, okay? <laughs> if they hid under the bed, it would still be impossible for them to carry the corpses somewhere. But they wouldn't have been able to lock the door. The master key they went to all that trouble to get was left right here. That's right, I'd forgotten. What about the keys specifically for this room? The servant room keys? Hmm. Indeed. Those are kept in the key box in the center of the servant room. There are several servant room keys, but all of those are hidden inside the key box. Which means the situation is exactly the same as Jessica's room. Oh god damn it. Battler, I don't know how you're possibly resisting.
使用人も便利なマスターキーがあれば不要な鍵はわざわざ持ち歩かないもんな It's not like the servants would walk around with an unnecessary key when they have those convenient master keys. Key box にしまわれっぱなしになってるのも納得だぜ I can appreciate, I can accept that they're all in the key box. その他の条件も何も変わらぬ And the other conditions remain unchanged as well. The daily は唯一の扉と唯一の窓から以外は不可能 Entry and exit are impossible, except for the single door and single window. You any. Cacustobira nado no fseki na daily shudan wa hite sareru. Therefore, hidden doors and irregular methods of entry cannot exist. Yorokobe me tante domo. Rejoice, great detectives. So ste sorerawa, isremo sejo sarete ita. And by the way, those were both locked. Tobira mo madom. Sejoji ni wa ikanaru deiri mo yurusanai. The door and the window do not permit any kind of entry or exit when they are both locked. Hello, luck laughter. Yep, no hidden passages. Damn it. Beatrice just knocking out my. Oh, God. Welcome to the stream, luck laughter. Tsumari. セジョを維持したまま扉を外す隙間を作ってすり抜けるなどなどは通用しないということだ。So it wouldn't work to remove the door and make a crack to slide in through or anything like that while the lock is still set. 当然だが扉の解除は使用人室の鍵とマスターキー以外は不可能。And obviously it was it is in that. It is impossible to unlock the door without a servant room key or the master key. <laughs> It's a pain having to read these aloud every time. Sooner or later, I should think of a word to put this all together and abbreviate it. Daga. But you can't repeat that someone was hiding in this room! However, that alone won't break open a door of a closed room. Damn it, damn it! It's useless, it's useless, it's all useless! Zen Zen Tamida! I was like. <laughs> What happened to that spitting the chessboard around thing that you're so proud of? Please, by all means, announce your boastful strange theory. Spin. The chessboard around? What would I do if that I were the culprit? I carry the corpses off somewhere. I leave a letter. I lock the door from the inside. Then I just have to escape this room by some means. Damn it, is that even possible? I was told in red that you can't get outside except through the door or the window.、Oh. Uh, at that moment, I got it. That's right. The culprit carried away the corpses, left the letter. And since they didn't use the hidden door, they weren't able to escape. That's it. This isn't a question, it's an answer. Beato. Beato! Wow, that's amazing, Matt. So. Oh my god, Ryukushi actually spoiled the entire thing for the voice actor. 
of Beatrice so that she could uh, so that she could do it so she could do the performance perfectly. That is amazing. Oh my god. Jeez. Wow. That is so cool. She is doing an amazing job. Oh my god. If I could ever measure up to like even being like 1% as good as she is. Jeez. Oh my god. Seriously. Before I ask you to repeat anything, I want to check the definition of hidden doors that you're using. What have you thought of? Very well. Very well. I'll explain. A hidden door refers to an entrance or exit that cannot be recognized as such by those who don't know it beforehand, of course. Even children know that. So in other words, if you can't get outside the room with it, it isn't a hidden door. Oh. So that's your game. Whatever. Oh wow, he also explained everything any of the characters know to the voice actors. Oh my god. That wow, that is so cool. Oh my god, this is just making me look forward to Siconia even more. Oh my god. Even though I know that won't have voices for quite a long time. I kept thinking there needed to be some way for the culprit to escape from the closed room. Yeah, they're still there. That's wrong. The, the culprit couldn't escape. So they decided to hide until we all left. During the second closed room, I tried applying this theory to Katankun. But after hearing Katankun was killed in red, I gave it up. After that, I proposed that a third person might have been in the room before escaping through a hidden door. And then, for the first time, I was faced with the red claim that no hidden doors exist. Now move from there to what I've just learned. That term, hidden door, refers to things that make it possible to enter or leave a room. In other words, that category doesn't cover things that don't actually lead in or out of the room, even if these things could never be recognized by people who didn't know about them beforehand. So if we had something like a hidden shell for a secret closet, for example, that wouldn't count as a hidden door. That means the third person from Jessica's room is hiding here, waiting for us to leave. <laughs> How pathetic. It was all just a bit of wordplay. Looks like that technique should be enough to handle even this third closed room. If there's a hidden shelf under the bed or anything like that, that'd be enough. The culprit's hiding somewhere, waiting for us to leave. The culprit is also trapped in this closed room even now. Which means, at this very moment, the culprit is still hiding in the servant room, holding their breath. And that means, what the hell? Even though we've been tortured by closed rooms three times, at this very moment, we've actually got the culprit in checkmate. I'm finally starting to see it. Eat this, Beato! Repeat it! There is no one in this room other than us! Maria, Rosa Obasan, Genji san, Goda san, Shannon chan no koto da ze! By us, I mean me, George Aniki, Maria, Aunt Rosa, Genji san, Goda san, and Shannon chan. Got it? Toda! Ie ne da ro! What do you think? You can't say it, right? Oh. Oh, yeah, he got her. 
Jeez. How, welcome, Quixotic Bear. Oh. Oh. Oh, but that hits you where it hurts. If you refuse, then say it, damn it. Here comes the next one. Repeat it. I don't know how they're hiding in this room, but if they are, then this solves the second closed room, Jessica's room, at the same time. I finally caught her by the tail. With this, I can explain everything. Witches don't exist, and I don't have to suspect anyone. Oh, God. All right, starting now, I'll spin it all around. Now I'll ever repeat it. I'll ever repeat that. Oh, my God. She trolled him. Oh, my God. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Like, he was being way too confident. I fucking knew it. No one exists in this room except your group. Your group refers to, of course, Battler, George, Maria, Rosa, Kenji, Goda, and Shannon. What? You gotta be fucking kidding me! Let's go back to Jessica's room. When Jessica's corpse was discovered? Only Bat, George, Maria, Rosa, Genji, Goda, Shannon, Kumasawa, and Nanjo were in Jessica's room. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, the corpse of Jessica is also included. Therefore, both in this case, the case involving Jessica's room and the one involving the servant room, no humans exist that you were not aware of. No one is hiding. And I'll say it more. And I'll say more. No method exists by which the door can be locked from the outside without using a key. Ah, uh, there... God damn it, there we go. Oh, and killing my other theory. Oh god, but is she only referring to this room's window or Jessica's room's window as well? Oh god, jeez. Regarding the window, no method exists by which it could somehow be locked from the outside. <laughs> and let me also say this. You are incompetent. And just when I finally managed to think of a way out! If you were hiding, that would fit everything! Just when I thought I'd. Just when I thought I'd broken through to your trick! Damn it! 
in front of her you got to impress her you did once you can do it again this trick is insane she not you know battler she knocked over my theory too about the window oh god jeez. oh god you know battler there we go kawaiso kawaiso you know, I, I, she killed my theory too about the window. It's useless, it's useless, it's useless, it's all useless! For a second, I thought I had it! It was all useless! Damn it! I was so sure I'd finally seen through her, that I'd seen how she distracted me with her clever red wordplay and fooled me! Just when I thought I'd found a light in the darkness, it disappeared. Just disappeared, swallowed up by a blood red sea. Red. Red, 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 red. No one is hiding. And there's no hidden door. And no way to get past the door or the window while they're locked. Have you just proven that it's all impossible? Has the devil's proof been fulfilled with a frontal attack? Impossible. That's just impossible. No, Stanoda, Ushiromiya Batora. What's wrong, Ushiromiya Battle? Majo Shte Surukide Mamman Data Zanai. Weren't you so confident in your ability to deny witches? Why are you groveling and wringing out bitter tears in a place like that? Ah, yes, but a truly splendid tactic. Truly splendid how you're trying to make me fall over and drown in a sea of tears from my own laughter! That is what you're trying to do, right? You're trying... You're trying to make me laugh and laugh and laugh myself to death, right? Who show me a battler? <laughs> oh God, Beatrice, you are so cool. Oh God, seriously, what are you calling magic? I'll definitely prove that witches don't exist! I definitely won't believe in you! You used the power of magic and bullied and killed everyone for fun! I definitely won't accept that! Hey, Battler? I'm sorry for bullying you so much. I'll spin the chessboard around from my side. I'll stand in your place and show you the best possible move you could make. Want to hear? Oh my god! God, Balor must be feeling like complete shit right now. Oh my god. 
ふざけんな聞きたくねえ聞きたくねえ She's taking pity on him. Oh my god. Don't screw with me! I don't want to hear! I don't want to hear! She's just gonna say it anyway! Oh my god! Consider Jessica's room. You were off to a good start, you know that? All that about hiding and waiting for everyone else to leave. That truly was well spotted. But why did you only think of Canon and me, the 19th person? So, ka. I see. So the hide part of hiding and waiting got in the way, which prevented you from getting any further. Come on, you see what I'm getting at, don't you? Jessica, da yo. It's Jessica. Jess. Jessica! If Jessica were the culprit, a farce like this could easily be constructed. She killed Khan and Kuhn and carried him off somewhere. Then she'd play dead and let us walk by. Hold on. Interesting. I gotta read these more carefully. It never, it doesn't say she's dead. It just said she was found. God damn it! Okay. Wait, what?! But then how did she have a ghost? Oh god, like, wait, what? Ugh. Wait, so that, all the other ones say that they're dead. Jessica doesn't say that she's dead. Even though she's grayed out and red here. Oh my fucking god, jeez. What? Wait, what? Oh my god! But how does she walk away from a knife wound? Ugh. She killed Count and Kuhn and carried him off somewhere. Then she played dead and let's walk by. But that's ridiculous! Dr. Nanjo definitely confirmed that she was dead. Oh, that, okay. Okay, I forgot that. So is Dr. Nanjo an accomplice too? That's wrong. I also confirmed that Jessica was dead. Of course, I've never examined a corpse before, but she was definitely dead. I think she was dead. No, that's probably surely definitely what I thought, but certainly, wait, she was dead. She was dead. Jessica is a guru. Jessica was in on it. And Nanjo, who examined her corpse, was in on it too. <laughs> and that makes it the third closed room of makes the third closed room of farce, doesn't it? Yeah, then, then it's simple. Dr. Nanjo was in on it, so in other words, he's on the culprit's side. Which means, which means, he was never dead in the first place? Hmm. 
No. Okay, no, it's confirmed that he's definitely dead. We thought his body disappeared after he was killed? But what if- we thought his body disappeared after he was killed, but what if he was never in the servant room to begin with? Okay, that's- Okay, now that's also confirming that 5D Battler did not see the scene. So Kuma, so Kumasawa Bachan disappeared with him? Does that mean she's on in on it too? That's not all, that's not all. Okay, yeah, he definitely did not see the scene. Okay, so I think... I think we just confirmed that uh, Battler did not see either of those scenes. 5D Battler did not see either of those scenes. That's not all, that's not all! The servants who all agreed to keep to that story, Genji-san and Goda-san and even Shan and Chan, were also in on it. Then the one who stole the key from Mario's handbag was Jessica. No, it could even have been George on a key. After all, if Shan and Shan is on the culprit's side, that automatically makes George on a key on the culprit's side. Wait a second, just wait a second, they're all wolves! They're all wolves! Oh god, no! Not only am I drowning in an ocean of bright red blood, there are packs of wolves clamoring on the banks, whose blazing eyes tell me they'll eat me if I crawl out. Which way should I die? Should I deny everything and drown in a bright red sea? Or should I learn the truth and have my whole body chewed to bits by the wolves? It's either one hell or the other. I can't choose. Ah! That's why I'm here. Come, Ushiromiya Battler, and kneel. Swear your eternal loyalty and lick my shoes. I'd do it. Oh my god, what are, what are you accusing the eye here? Oh jeez, I, what, oh my god! Is this a sprite error or is this really happening? If you accept me, all of the riddles will be resolved. With my power, any kind of closed room can be created or destroyed. Oh my god! Battler, don't you want to abandon yourself to the joy of surrendering to one with power? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, hello, humane kitty. Welcome to the stream. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! We have Bea twice and Bea thrice. Oh my god. Oh god. Uh, Bea just is my type. <laughs> I'll make you my favorite furniture. Oh god. Oh god. Stop making me sweat, god damn it. I love you so much, make you my toy until you turn to ashes.
Oh, oh, that juice. I need to cool off a bit after that one, juice. <sighs> okay. Oh, God, jeez. As I said before, whew, okay. Georgie is my type of guy, but Beatrice is my type of girl. Oh, God, that was, oh, jeez. Oh, my God, jeez. Okay. Whew. Now it's clear. There's no longer any reason to doubt. Huh? Huh? What are you saying? You kept saying those two were dead, but they're not here. So, Beatrice has a letter from Beatrice. She has a letter from Beatrice. And now we have this letter from Beatrice. Where she's been caught enough to confess that she carried the corpses off. It's as simple as that. I've had enough of this farce! Yes, we have this music again! I love this song from episode one! Oh god, I love this song. As Aunt Rosa yelled this, she looked at all of us with a fierce expression. What do you mean by force? Are you fucking serious, OA? Are you fucking serious? They only play the song twice in the whole fucking series? What a waste! This song is amazing! Oh my god. That is a huge waste. Oh god. I said it in Jessica's room. You can't trust anyone but yourself and those whose corpses have been found. And so we can't find the corpses of those two people? We must not accept that they've been killed. Please wait on Rosa! What do you mean by that? Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa-san aren't dead, they're alive! We're supposed to believe that they've been killed, but they're definitely hiding somewhere in this mansion. So that they could attack us! How could you know that? Are you saying that Goda-san and the rest are lying? Rosa-sama! Rosa-sama! No, Goda, no! All of the Shiromiya family servants! We all swear that nothing of the sort happened! You all say that those two were killed. But since there are no corpses, we mustn't believe you. There's a chance that you worked out a story beforehand, that you're lying. There's a good way to prove your innocence, isn't there? Find Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa-san's bodies. If you can find them, then maybe I'll start listening to your story.
Oh god, this song is so cool, seriously. If you can find them, then maybe I'll start listening to your story. But until you do, you cannot deny that you're all wolves. You! And you! I'll bet you were all bought with I, that witch, that your eyes were blinded by gold! Do you really want money that much? That's right, isn't it? You want to live the easy life for as long as you live? What value could a life like that possibly have? Be silent! And Shannon, don't get any closer! To think that you repay a ten year long debt of gratitude with betrayal! I'll pull the trigger without mercy. Uh, Rosa! That's horrible! A murder occurred in this room! And then the culprit carried the corpses away! All they're doing is honestly reporting what they saw! Shannon had finally broken down in tears. Oh no! She had sacrificed ten years to the Ushimiya family. She had sacrificed ten of the most brilliant years of her life. She believed that she'd built up a friendly relationship with Rosa. And this was what she got in return. You can kill a person with using, without using a knife. Oh god. I didn't have to be George Anahi to realize that Shannon Chan had been stabbed deep in the heart that she was shedding tears like blood. Shannon san, stay back. Rosa sama, tashka ni kono gouda wa otsutome shite himo asaku, shin yo kachete inai no wa wakarimasu. Rosa sama, it is true that I, Gouda, have not served for many years. I understand that I have not earned your trust. However, could you not believe in Shannon san at least? She has sacrificed a full ten years in service to the Ushiomiya family. I'm not telling you to believe me. At the very least, can't you believe in Shannon san? But even I don't understand anymore. I don't understand. We can't search for an answer without suspecting them. Yeah, bit by bit, I'm starting to understand. It's because we've been searching for an answer. That's why everything keeps going wrong. We don't need. An answer. These are all strange murders committed with bizarre magic by the 19th person, the witch Beatrice, in accordance with some creepy ceremony. Isn't that enough? I don't want to suspect anyone anymore. I agree, Artie. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, those years are kind of shit. <laughs> Probably some of the worst years of my life. Shannon Chan and Goda san were pro protesting their innocence, half crying. Genji san quietly put a stop to that. Yoshinasai.
Yeah, Battler just admitted admitted to magic. Jeez. Enough. What Rosa Sama says is quite sensible. Until we find the corpses, we cannot prove. Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa's innocence. That's right. By Rosa-san's argument, if their corpses can be found, then the innocence of those people alone can be proven. But that only counted for the corpses. Even if the survivors searched the mansion and found the corpses, in the end, their own innocence would never be proven. They kidnapped Dr. Nanjo and Kumasawa-san, killed them in another place, and locked the closed room with their own master keys. Unless the closed room could be broken by a method other than that one, it would be impossible to prove their innocence. But that couldn't be done! They only have one chance to prove their innocence. That can only happen if they meet with the culprit, become corpses, and then are reunited with Aunt Rosa. Isn't that strange? They're innocent if they die, but guilty as long as they're alive, just like a witch trial. <laughs> Literally. Oh right, and the enemy's a witch. So everything's cool, is that it? Rosa-sama. We are furniture in service to the Ishirimiya family. Whether you trust us or not is no business of ours. And there we go, System Zero. We'll never hear it again. Oh, God damn it! I really love that song. It was so cool. No matter what assessment you gave us, we will merely continue to serve until our final hour. You really are a model servant. I deeply understand why Father trusts you. It really is heartrending that I must suspect even you. Genji-san stuck his hand into his pocket and pulled out a master key. Then he sat it on a nearby table. I believe I was given this as a sign of the trust placed in me. If that trust has been lost, I think it only natural that I return it. That's a good decision. Those master keys are the main reason you've been suspected several times today. 
疑いが晴らせるのではないかというのは初歩的ではあるけれど It may seem elementary that letting go of those might clear away that suspicion Hold on just one second Try to readjust everything. This song is really beautiful. It reminds me of something in Zelda. Doesn't this song remind you of Legend of Zelda? Like a、um, friggin' fairy fountain or something like that. At least that part that just passed. It may seem elementary that letting go of those might clear away that suspicion. But I don't think it's a bad thing. You too. Genji san looked at Gota san and Shan and Shan. The two of them nodded and set their own master keys on the table. Aunt Rosa laid the two master keys that had come out of the envelope on top. With that, all five master keys were gathered in this place. In other words, this was proof that all of the servants' service until today had been negated. With even their final honor, They should have been permitted to strip for them. Maria, so no tesagi o kashina say. Maria, give me the handbag. Ah! Ah! Give it back! Aunt Rosa snatched Maria's handbag, tossed the master keys in there, and held up one of them for all to see. She was showing us that she now had all the master keys. Are you satisfied now, Aunt Rosa? Now you have all the master keys. Does that satisfy you? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm satisfied. Even if I can't trust anyone else, I can at least trust myself. Jeez. I've been able to get the gun and all the master keys for myself. Jeez. So, what are you going to do? Transform into a dungeon boss or something? Now, I don't have to suspect anyone. You're all happy too, I take it? Now, you don't have to be suspected anymore. <laughs> oh god, she's going nuts. Oh god. Um, Aunt Rosa, you mind giving me that gun? Why would I do that? Silly battler. I have everything in the world under my command. Oh, God. <laughs> At the time, Mario, who alone seemed to be watching. This, as though it were a show, sneered at her mother. Aunt Rosa reacted nervously to that laugh and turned around. Kids don't have anything to do with us. Beatrice can open doors with magic. She doesn't need keys. そんなもの、誰が持っていたって持っていなくたって関係ないんだよ。It doesn't matter who has or doesn't have something like that. 
ヒャッハーその笑い方をやめなさいっていつも言ってるでしょ Don't I always tell you to stop laughing like that? What is it, Battler Coon? I just get in between the two of them. Nope, that's not it. I was on my knees and hugging Mario's head. Oh, Battler! I was crying. Just stop it already, Aunt Rosa. Murray was right. What are you talking about? Maria. Maria. I'm sorry for doubting. I'm sorry for not believing. It was all the witch is doing. Which is doing? All that stuff about tricks and closed rooms didn't matter. It's just, it's just that the witch Beatrice actually exists, and she's really a witch. Because I didn't believe it's been so painful and so sad. Oh god, Battler. Oh no, my poor baby. It looks like both 4D Battler and 5D Battler are close to giving up. I believe. Beatrice exists in quotes. And she's a witch who uses strange magic. Maria let go of my hand. And then she was the one holding my head. That's enough, Father. Beatrice existed in quotes. You had so much trouble believing that you couldn't see her. Which is exist in quotes. They exist in quotes. And will come in quotes soon. 
きっと黄金教へ招かれるよ。Hello, Strix. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Olive, by the way. Nothing to be afraid of anymore. There's no need to be afraid, okay? Maria to Ishoni, Otete o Tsunaide, Zito Ishoni, yo. Yes, Matt. Stay with me. I'm joined, okay? Let's think about the rhythm of the epitaph together. Let's think about Beato's puzzle. Beato has been saying it from the beginning. She hasn't said anything other than let's play and solve the puzzle. Ah, so that that right, she did. Hani Sagashinante, Matakuno Jikan no Mudatanda. Searching for the culprit was just a waste of time. Oretacha, Tada Majo, Shinchiba Yokatanda. If only we had just believed in the witch. After gently brushing my cheek as my tears came, kept dripping down, Mario kissed my forehead as soft as a feather. Oh my god! Mario is such a precious child! Oh my god. For just that instant, Mario's smile, which had once seemed creepy to me, looked like that of an angel. Master Key wa okai shi shi mashita ga. Watakushi domo no ushiro miya kei no chusei wa kawarimasen. We have returned the Master Keys, but our loyalty to the ushiro miya family will not change. From now on, we will not enter the parlor without permission. Do you think Rosa is the one who is the one who is the one? Rosa-sama, please lock the parlor from the inside. Oh no! Oh no, that means Shannon! Oh god! You truly are an admirable person. When the typhoon passes, if the cries of the seagulls return to this island, 
再び互いを信頼し合えるのかしら I wonder if we'll be able to trust each other again once more. Moshi, Futabi no Shinra, you tamail no deshta. Corini Masaru Yorokovi are Arimase. If you were to grant us your trust once again, there could be no greater pleasure. So, I see. What does that you are Kanaraz Wakari Ayrma? I see. We'll definitely be able to understand each other. Yeah, when the seagulls cry. Yep! There we go! Okay, she said it! She said it! Episode's over. We made her say it. It would probably be best if we left this room as it is until the police came. Rosa-sama, if you would please lock it. It would be probably best. Oh, here we go. I already read that line. We will return to the kitchen. If you need anything, please command us at any time. Thank you. If you're a wolf, how shamelessly you speak. And if you are a sheep, then I'm sorry for throwing into a cage of wolves. Kagua. Burnisher entrusts its fate to the family. If I could regain your trust by giving up this life of mine, I would consider it a great honor. Okay, you guys, um, I'm gonna just uh, go for about like maybe five minutes. I'll be right back. I just gotta take care of something, okay? I will be right back in like around five minutes, all right? So you guys sit tight, get a drink or something. Have fun browsing or just listen to this uh, lovely sad music here. I will be back ASAP.
Hello. All right, I'm back, everybody. Hello, Eternal Magician. Uh, taking a bit of a break, I had to do some things. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're just now, Rosa has gone the key. Has gone the key, has gotten the keys, uh, master keys from everybody. And um, basically, she has the gun, she has the keys, she has all the power. And she's laughing like a maniac. And uh, Genji's like, please don't do this. It's like, oh god. And she's planning on separating the servants and everyone else, which is can only be a bad idea. Oh my god. I hope you all manage to remain safe until the typhoon passes, if such a thing is possible. I wonder who among the adults is not going to do this, is not going to send these servants off and just to their doom. Like, I really wonder now. There's got to be somebody in uh, how this these, this set of events is is going to repeat. This is all a rhapsody of bloody uh, of blowing winds and running, pouring rain performed by the typhoon. When the performance ends and the curtain closes, we will surely be able to grasp hands together again. <laughs> She's doing it again! Jeez! When the seagulls cry. Oh god, that would be a great title for a visual novel. Don't you all think so? Well, I don't know. Don't you think so, Battler? Yeah, sure, of course it'd be the greatest title ever. Aunt Rosa nodded in response. Genji san turned on his heels. He left the servant room. Goda san's face was still streaked with tears. But maybe he'd managed to sort out his feelings as he listened to Genji san's words. His face had truly. Hello, PDI! His face. But it had been returned to the face of the Goda san we knew well. <laughs> I will also be waiting in the kitchen. If you need anything, please command me at any time. If you wish for some warm food, our Goda will have the very best prepared for you. Thank you. I can't wait for your breakfast tomorrow. And the boat will probably come by midday tomorrow. Thanks for everything up until now. Your, co your cooking was my only pleasure on Rokunjima. Certainly. I, Goda, will prepare a supreme breakfast. Please look forward to tomorrow morning. Arigato. Thank you. Shannon-chan. And Shannon-chan? Tomorrow morning, we'll drink a drink and drink a drink and drink a drink. 
tomorrow morning? Let's make up and have some delicious coffee. Oh, that's because, um... Look, Laster, that's because they're, they're t discussing spoilers using uh, the Rot 13 cipher. Uh, you just go to Rot 13? Look that, yeah, that's what they're, yeah. Tomorrow morning, let's make up and have some delicious coffee. What do you think? Some some pumpkin spice, eh? I am thinking a pumpkin spice latte. I really love one right now. God damn it. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, pumpkin spice latte. Come on. Huh? Georgie-kun. Georgie-kun? Bokumo. I'm going with them. Oh, George. Look at George. Look at how amazing he is. Oh, my God. Jeez. Look at this guy. Oh, pumpkin spice latte. It's at Starbucks, and the only Starbucks in Brisbane are the two in the city that I could see. Jeez. But look at Georgie! Look at how amazing he is! Oh my god. Oh god, Georgie, you are so cool, seriously, Georgie. Oh god. It's alright, Jurisama. Please, return to the parlor. There are no more Master Keys. So if you put the summer in the parlor, you won't be threatened by anyone. So ne. You're right. So you koto ni natteru. That's how things have sorted themselves out, isn't it? Kyakuma ni watashi to issho ni iru no ga kyakkan teki ni kangae te ichiban anzen da to omou wa. Objectively speaking, I'd say you'd be safer staying with me in the parlor. Demo, muri ni issho ni iru to wa iwa nai. But I won't force you to stay with us. Georgie-kun, you may stay in any place you feel is safe. You're already an adult. It's up to you where and with whom you spend the time until tomorrow morning. Yes. I will decide with whom I'll spend this night. Oh my god, you know, oh my god. With the way he phrased that, you know, you know exactly what he's gonna say. Uh, uh, yep. That lacoon. Stay with Aunt Rosie in the parlor. I'm sure you'll be safest there. Everywhere outside the parlor is dangerous in comparison. So I can't leave her in a place like that alone. Look at this man! Oh my god! God, George is so... Oh, God, George. George, Georgie, Georgie, Georgie. Oh, my God. Seriously. It's raising a lot of de death flags, I have to say. But, oh, my God. It's not like I suspect Shannon Chan and the other servants. So, if what I think is going to happen is going to happen, uh, the survivors this time might be Battler, Maria, Rosa, and, um, 
and uh, Kinzo. Jeez. It's not like I suspect Shannon Chan and the other servants. Yeah. Or anyone at all. I don't want to suspect anyone. The inheritance? The gold? That's all nothing. There's no way people are killing each other over things like that. Yes. I know better than anyone how pure your heart is, Bat Lacoon. No one will blame you. No one. Aniki. Uh, Aniki. That's all right. Batura wa Maria ga mamoru. I'll protect you, Butler. Maria to issue nara, Beatrice de mo tedashi deki nai. If you're with me, even Beatrice won't leave you able to leave a hand on you. Datte Maria wa, chichaku de mo, majo da mona. I may be small, but I'm still a witch. Oh, that's so cute. Yes. Maria chan. Mario chan. I'm leaving Bala in your care. So, Shannon. All right, Shannon. You go. Let's go. Hi. Yes. Oh God, George, seriously. Let's ditch those old people and go right in the closet right there. I don't even care. You are amazing. I'm going to have this right now. If I'm going to die today, I'm going to die fucking happy. I swear to fucking God, Georgie Coon, we are going right now. Oh, okay, sure. Rosa-sama, if you would excuse me. If you have an order, please call me at any time. I'm sorry for saying something so cruel just now. I don't expect you to forgive me until tomorrow morning. But when tomorrow morning comes, let me apologize again. Yes. Yes. And thank you very much. George Anaki and Shannon Chan left the servant room together. Now only Maria, Aunt Rosa, and I were left in this disgusting, blood-stained room. Until Genji-san disappeared. Until Goda-san disappeared. Until George Aniki and Shannon Chan disappeared. We stood there, shocked. After their presence and their footsteps had completely disappeared, Aunt Rosa giggled, as though she just remembered something pleasant. Fuck you, you stupid bitch. You are literally the worst person on this island. You may, you seriously just hold yourself high and mighty over everybody else, seriously, but you are worse than Eva. You are just a bitchiest bitch. You are, you remind me of the, oh God. Ugh. You can't trust them for a moment. The damn furniture. That one sentence made me choke. What? 
why are you, why are you saying something like that? Master key by its to the gym. There are five master keys in all. Who would believe that? It's obvious that some duplicate keys exist. As if we could trust them just because they pulled some keys out of their pockets. Hello, Happy D. Welcome to the stream. You don't mean that, right? By setting down those keys, they were they were just letting go of them. You made all their hard work count for nothing, disgraced it, trampled it. And in the end, he made them give up their keys. Hello, Voodoo Chili. Welcome to the stream. Oh, God. What's with that parting line? They've shown that they're willing to go this far, and you still can't trust them? Too much? That's just too much! It's a devil's proof! There are five master keys in all! It's impossible to prove something like that! You can show that there are five master keys by placing them here. But you can't prove that no more than five exist. Only a demon or a witch could prove something like that, right? Oh, Battler. He really is quite innocent in a lot of ways. Stop already! Just stop it already! Please, Beatrice, show yourself right now! And tell Aunt Rose in Red that there are only five master keys! Please, I'm begging you. This can only be proved by devils, by a witch like you! Please, Pietro! Show yourself here and tell Rosa that they're all the master keys! Master key was sort of the I thought there's no reason to suspect anyone anymore! There are only five master keys. There are only five master keys. <laughs> How's that? No matter how often I say it, it won't reach Rosa's ears. Battler looks so defeated right now, seriously. He looks so lost. Oh my god, my poor baby.
But I will say, Rosa is the worst of the worst. Oh, God. And to think I thought she was the good one. Seriously, no. She is the absolute worst. I don't think she has a single redeeming quality. Jesus Christ. After all, it seems there's still someone who denies that I exist, right? Ushiro me a butler. Accept it. I accept it. You exist. You exist. You definitely exist. So I'm begging you, stop this already! Stop it already! Just stop it already! <laughs> oh god, Butler. Oh god. Kotoba da ke dewa todokanuzu. Taido de shimese. Words alone are not enough. Show it with your actions. Marawa no kagu ni naruto kokoro kara tsukai. Swear from your heart that you will become my furniture. Can you do it? Take off your clothes, be naked, then put your hands on the ground and crawl. Clothing is proof of one's humanity. From now on, you will become furniture. So it's only natural that you will lose that right. Then kneel. Make your tongue crawl on my shoes. Can you do it? You can do it, right? When you do, I'll appear and say it in red. I'll tell Rose that there are the only five master keys. Oh, but of course, you'll never abandon that lordly pride of yours. I, I love the sound of her voice. Oh my god. But, but you've done well. You've done more than enough. And you started to get that tingly feeling, aren't you? For just an instant, you thought maybe licking my shoes wouldn't be so bad, didn't you? And you immediately denied that and felt ashamed, right? Just looking at your expression feels just heavenly! That face of yours is so pathetic. Just so go look in a mirror. You'll see just how low you are, naked and licking my shoes. Right? Can you see it? Uchiro, you butler!
Oh my God. Yeah, same here, Luck Laster. Oh my God. Jeez. I'm sweating again. <laughs> Whew, okay. Oh my God. Jeez. And here we are at uh, six o'clock again. Okay, guys. And with that, I think that scene ended on a perfect timing. Right as we have 30 people at the very end. God damn it. Jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You know what? Uh, we will uh, continue this in two days. I think, um, yep. <sighs> How much of this do you think I have left? Yep. Oh, wow. Well, I got. Oh, my God. Huh? It's always in two days, uh, Armbora. It's ev every two days. Oh, my God. Oh, hello, Marin. Oh, I just saw you today. About yeah, two two uh yeah, two just two streams before the tea party. So probably two more regular ones and then the tea party. Really? Uh, no, I'm gonna I, I'll definitely have enough for episode three, because um, because look, I'm on page four. I'm on page four. Now I might run out by the end of episode three. Which means episode four, my saves are going to be in trouble. So, but, um, yeah. The tea party is short in episode two? Okay. Yeah, I think I read a word count somewhere. Episode three is like the longest episode. But anyway, you guys, wow, okay, just, I did save, so. What amazing scenes, seriously. I am going to do that, JM Chad. I am going to uh, over, I, I am going to overwrite once uh, I get to that point. I just can't believe that for each individual Higurashi episode. Oh, really? I meant of the question arcs. Oh, episode four is the longest, okay. No, but it's so weird. In the Higurashi episodes, like for each individual episode, they give you like 20 pages of saves. Oh, it says what episode each save is for. Armora, don't worry. It says uh, what episode each save is for. Damn, episode four is the longest. Interesting. The exact opposite of Higurashi in that case. All right, you guys. Uh, with that plan, so I'll see you all in two days. So you know what? You are all so amazing. And uh, so long. Farewell, 
Auf Wiedersehen. Good night. You are all the sweetest of hearts. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. See ya.